<laughs> Marshall Ann. Marshall and Alan Bidol. Is that right? Where are you from? Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland, Ohio. Yeah. Very nice to have you with us. Panel, Mr. Bidal and Mr. Bidal. Panel, come and join me now, if you will. The three of us can fit in here. Why? Um, I'm sure we can. You all know how we keep score? Yes, we do. All right. Then, then let's um, let the folks at home and our friends here in the theater know exactly what your line is. Marshall and Allen are self-employed, and let's begin the general questioning with Dorothy Kilgallen. Uh, do you uh, use your brains as well as brawn in your work? Yes, we do. Would you say it was more brains than brawn? Yes, I do. You have such marvelous tans that I know Thank that I'm you. going to get a no on this. Do you work indoors? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think Marshall's been outdoors, though. <laughs> That's right. Uh, do you deal with both sexes? Yes. Could anyone on the panel use your services? Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, would we be better off if we did? I, sometimes. <laughs> okay. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, is it possible that someone could take advantage of what you do and regret it? Oh, no. <laughs> no, I can't think of any circumstance under which the specific service that uh, is projected from the services which our two friends offer, I don't see how this specific service could be applied so as to be regretted. It might be considered helpful, as a matter of fact. That's one down and nine to go, Mr. Gable. Is there possibly a product connected with what you do? That's correct. Something that I could use? I'm yes. Sure. <laughs> You're sure? Would I use it every day? Yes. <laughs> I've got a summer cold, excuse me, Martin. Uh, is it something that uh, comes in contact with the body? Yes. <laughs> Don't look at me. <laughs> I don't know what you do every day, Martin. <laughs> um, is it used uh, above the waist? Two down and eight to go, Miss Fred. <laughs> it comes in contact with the body, but the body part is below the waist. Now, is that correct? I'd say so. Yes. yes. You do agree, don't you, Bedalls? We, we do, do agree. <laughs> All the time. Uh, <laughs> a couple of Bedalls. Is it, uh, is it uh, something one could hold in one's hand? Yes. Now, wait a minute here. Wait a minute. <laughs> if one were strong. I'm going... Uh, if one were strong. Thank you very much. Three down and seven to go. You would have to be quite strong. This is not something that I would think, Arlene, you could hold in your hand. And if you couldn't hold it in your hand, I just wouldn't. Uh, My strength is as of yeah. ten. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm in a position That's a uh, three down and seven to go. Martin, go <laughs> Mr. Sir. Uh, I'd like to go on with this, uh, trying to isolate the part of the body where this product is used. <laughs> it's below the waist, you say. Is it below the knees? No. No. I don't think. No. It could be. Yeah. It could be below the knees. If you dropped it. Yeah. It could be. Uh, when anybody is using this product and walking down the street. <laughs> That's four down and six to go. You don't even have to finish the question. Miss Kilgallen? <laughs> the only thing I can think of that fits this description nobody uses anymore, like, this isn't a guess. I'm just telling you what's going through my mind. Half a suit of armor. But it's not no, that, is it? No, it's not. No. 
is right. <laughs> Bennett uh, uh, got no encouragement when he said that someone might be walking down the street wearing this. Is it true that this would not be worn while walking down the street? That's correct. <laughs> it would, it but you be. said it comes in contact with the body. That's yes. Right. Uh -huh. uh, would you say then that it is not worn? It is not a piece of wearing apparel? That's correct. Even it for knights of old? That's right. I can dismiss that. Yes. <laughs> is it solid? Yes. Jackson. Uh, does it have any moving parts? Yes. Yes! 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 yes. 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 <laughs> this merely establishes beyond cavil how ignorant I am about this <laughs> sort of product. Yeah. Uh, is it big enough to sit on? Yes. Yes. Would you be considered utterly ridiculous? No. Would you not be considered utterly ridiculous if you sat on it or in it? Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, <laughs> the syntax has got me going here. Yes, I don't blame yes. you, Martin. Right. It would be all right to sit on it. Nobody would laugh at you. All right? That's right. Um, would you sit on it usually somewhere other than at home? I mean, yes. is this something you'd go someplace? Mostly, Does yes. it do something for you or to you? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> uh, it's a cheerful product, I hope. Oh, very, yes. very much so. <laughs> I'm going to give you 30 seconds more would to it, see if you can get would it. Would it affect your silhouette in any way? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, would you say so, John? No, I'd... Well, I would say that presuming that you were in a certain estate and condition, <laughs> this would not necessarily affect your silhouette in that estate and condition when assumed or when it was reasonable to assume that you would be in that estate. We agree with that. <laughs> How's that again? <laughs> well, does it move at all? Does it shake yeah. or vibrate? Oh, or no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to flip. think it's a hot box. You think it's a hot box? Well, that'll flip all of them. And that's ten down and no more to go because I think we've given enough time to it. Marshall and Allen make bar stools. <laughs> Marsh Allen Manufacturing Company of Cleveland, they make many varieties of bar stools. And, and you don't think those are hot boxes? No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, nice, the, the nice thing about it is, at least if you read their history very quickly, they trained for this work by being scoot, ski troopers. And that's the way to do it. Marshall and Allen, thank you very much. <laughs>